go through the tunnel at Atlanta Motor Speedway to get to the infield. This is pretty damn cool, guys. We're going to go drag racing on a NASCAR track. That's badass. Lots of people starting to show up. Hopefully Frostbite makes it on TV. They filmed this uh, this show on TV. So hopefully we made it. That will be awesome. We're going in, guys. Going in. this is going to go down is they're, they're going to do an eighth mile drag race in pit road um they actually do a lot of drag racing down here on friday nights but i've never came and checked it out so today we're here uh this is caffeine and octane at the drags as you can hear we got some uh squealing tires in the background already everybody's getting checked in and uh hopefully it's an awesome event and i'm hoping that we can get uh, frostbite to launch pretty good we're going to try to uh, use a trans brake today and uh have fun. So I'm going to have my camera guy kind of go around the, the track right here and see the bleachers and everything. We're down here in the infield in the center of the track. Pretty cool. Definitely weird. Definitely weird being on a NASCAR track. So hell yeah, guys. We're going to get everything unloaded. We're going to go walk around and see what we can find out. We got frostbite right here. Chilling, ready to go make some hits, and uh, we're about to go over to the legit NASCAR garages. They're doing car shows over here, and this is gonna be badass. So we're gonna go over here to the NASCAR garages and check out some of the cool, uh, some of the cool cars over here, guys. So let's go check it out. So here is the NASCAR garages down here in the infield. As you see, the bleachers up there. And they are having car shows throughout this whole entire property. They got some cool cars inside the garages that they're doing shows with. So we're gonna go in here and check it out, see what we can find out. And we're still pretty early. Still a lot of people to still got a lot of people to show up yet. Pretty cool setup right here on the on the Mustang and the bike. Colors matching. Got some more more car shows over here. And this event is pretty much for everybody, guys. You're gonna see a little bit of everything, every kind of brand and flavor out there. Supercars, muscle cars, everything. Um, some of the classes they're talking about is like Mopars versus the world, supercars versus muscle cars kind of thing. So, not sure who we're who we're gonna be racing quite yet. It's probably just line up and run what you brung kind of dilly. But I would love to be able to get lined up with like a Lambo or something. I think we could take a Lambo in the eighth mile, guys. I don't know what do you think. Something a little different here. Got a Stormtrooper Challenger. I haven't seen one done like this yet. That's kind of cool. A little Stormtrooper there. 
That's impressive work. Pretty neat. Definitely different. Looks like we got it going on in here too. Let's see what we got in here. Looks like we got some GTRs down here. A little bit of a mix-up, kind of every flavor going on inside this bay. Got an older GTR. Pretty cool. Got some more cars going on over here on this uh, parking deck here. SRT10. Looks like we might have a SRT10 down here, possibly. No. Thought we had one, but we don't. Looks like it's just a hood swap. It'd be neat if we could find one out here. Not a bad looking truck though. <coughs> Heck yeah guys, it's pretty cool. This is the first time that they've done this event. Caffeine and Octane at the drags is what they call it at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Now you can see the box seats up there. Atlanta Motor Speedway, try to zoom in. There you go. Real deal, guys. We're on a racetrack. <coughs> I've actually seen this car before, and I know it's not a Mopar, but I want you guys to see it because I like Trans Ams, especially the older ones. This guy has the newer gen Camaro done up Firebird swap. That's pretty cool. Trans Am bird the whole thing honeycomb wheels got the ta62 shaker dilly going on with it really good looking car t-top i love the old bandit cars love 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 the old trans am cars and i think this is pretty cool right here Bandit 2 on the license plate. Definitely a pretty cool car. That'd be the only way I could have a Camaro today. It'd have to be like this. Definitely cool. Thumbs up. Thumbs up because it's done up nice. Look at the interior, guys. Tan and black. Dash going on with it, too. Very good. Got to look, fire chickens on the door. That's awesome. All right, we're going to go check out the tires schooling back here in the background. We're also going to go find out where the actual racetrack's going to be for the eighth mile drag track. And uh, go see what we're in for. I'm kind of curious to see what the track looks like. Like I said, I've never been here. I've never even been to Atlanta Motor Speedway in my life, and I've lived here my whole life. So, yeah. You know what I mean? We'll see what's up. Definitely all kinds of parties going on over here. Some badass motorcycles right there for sure. So here we go in the middle. We got the Sunoco fuel station. Right in the middle of the NASCAR track, Sunoco fuel station right there. Hell yeah. Alright, so we're making our way over to the drift course. They've already started drift racing.
Oh yeah, guys. Definitely a pretty cool event. It's hot, that's for sure. What you're hearing here is echoing over there. We're gonna try to get over here where we can get a good view of these cars. some driving skills and do that stuff that's for sure we're gonna go over here and look at the uh the drag strip real quick and see what we're dealing with hopefully it's uh pretty good i'm hoping they actually prep it and everything so i would imagine so like i said they do friday night drags here all the time and uh, a lot of people say it's really good granted it's an eighth mile track and we normally race quarter mile so that'll be a little different um but should be fun. Hi Mopar fam, we are about ready to go drag racing at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Now I did just do some digging and some research and uh, talking to some people. Found out that they actually don't prep the track at all today. Um, pretty much they're gonna sweep it off and really no prep, no glue. Uh, I don't even think they have a water box per se. I think you might be able to do a water burnout, maybe. Um, that's still in the air, so I have no idea. But more or less, it's just a stand-up drag race. Um, not gonna be a lot of prep, and from what I understand, I don't even think we're gonna get a ticket or a time slip, supposedly. So, it's basically sh pull up next to somebody, race them, and hopefully you beat them. Um, from what I understand, talking to some uh, local people that come up here and race sometimes, they say it's basically like a street race, and, it, the, and, the, and the surface is like a street. So, they say it's a lot of time, it's a driver's race, pedal fest, whatever. 
Um, so I don't know if we're gonna be able to trans brake launch it, guys. I don't know. We might try it the first time, see what happens. Um, but we might end up just having to foot brake it and uh, race the road and see what happens. So, hell yeah, let's go see what happens.